Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Here we have uh, another multiple choice questions and uh, we are going to practice on TE and ice. Here we have a clips. Uh, can you name those structure has been uh, marked here, this structure, this leaflet, this area, and this unequal circular shape? And what uh, view is this one? Next. Here we have another view. Which view is this one? At what level again? And what those are structure? This one, this one, this one, and this one. Based on the color Doppler, as you see here, which of the following uh, the envelope and Doppler belong to mitral valve uh, continuous Doppler? We have a different pattern. Just look at the color Doppler and check based on finding on the color Doppler, which do you expect to see and which belong can be belong to that color Doppler on the mitral valve and uh, continuous wave on the mitral valve at that pathology. Next one. Here, uh, what we use this and what those are, this cusp and this tuberosity or hyperechoic uh, structure. And where is the pulmonary vein on this view? Is that, can you see it even partially and where? Next. Here we have a ice image intracardiac echocardiography in short axis and long axis. Short axis, long axis. Where is the left atrium and right atrium as a result? And second, what structure here has been measured? This one. I hope uh, you have your answer. Now let's go find the answer. <clears throat> As you know, transesophageal echo or TEE uh, has been done in four levels. Upper esophageal, that usually is for the evaluation of the great uh, arteries and vein. Second, mid-esophageal, that is the most common uh, windows we use on TEE and for all those valve and base of the heart uh, evaluation, we use it. Another is a transgastric that uh, especially for evaluation and appreciation of the aortic valve Doppler for gradient is very good windows for that. And we have final deep transgastric. Between them, any, you can go a little higher, lower, just is off axis of those level. They, those are four classic windows for T. I am going to uh, uh, prepare and upload in each of those uh, level completely in different uh, presentation and later you will get notice and you can review them. Here just I'm going to talk about one of those uh, windows that is mid esophageal. Before that, as I mentioned in another clips, this website is amazing for practicing and create uh, some imagi imagination of those cross-section anatomy for both transthoracic and transesophageal. Go for this, go this site and practice on yourself. Now let's go to the first group of questions. 
And uh, here we have a mid esophageal four chamber view, uh, as you see on this clips. Let's see how it looks like uh, cross section and orientation of the probe. Our probe or, uh, angle is zero degree, and the marker is toward the left side of the patient and tip of the probe as you see here is almost inferior posterior at the level of inferior posterior of the left atrium here uh, that is the cross section it looks like we throw away the upper part and watching from anterior of the patient to the cross section surface of bottom part and on the monitor, the image from this uh, cross section has been rotated clockwise almost 45 degree and give us this uh, Im image and clip. So it has been rotated and flipped up. For practical tip, you can imagine this is a uh, windows and view as a pediatric echo. If you are not familiar with pediatric echo, you can do very easy, just flip it upside down your image in your mind. It becomes exactly the images you have on the transthoracic at the same windows, apical four chamber. If you upside down, exactly give you that impression of the transthoracic. Mm -hmm. or imagine as a pediatric echo four chamber in other uh, view is the same three chamber four chamber two chamber the same uh, technique you can create an imaginary in your mind and detect each all those structure now let's go very easy this side left side of uh, your right side or left side of monitor this side is left side of the heart and right side of the heart imagine you are watching from the anterior of the patient to the cross section surface of uh, bottom part of the heart so left atrium left ventricle right ventricular part of the tricuspid and you don't see right atrium if the uh, cardiologist want to see the right of atrium just with the flexing left to the right of the patient the probe it can show more uh, right atrium too here so you have landmark here is you can see with the heart beating it goes between four and five some part of the aortic valve show up so the uh, leaflet that is next to the intraatrial septum is anterior mitral valve leaflet and the other one is posterior mitral valve leaflet now next this uh, here we have three uh, mid esophageal three chamber view is the same location of the probe but the angle is different between 130 to uh, to 140 depending of the heart orientation of the patient it's angle a little different but it looks like the orientation of the same as the uh, heart on the plaques now here we have a color doppler you can see imagine this structure here is uh, again flip it up if you are easier for you or look at the you are watching apical three of the uh, pediatric echo any of them here we have left atrium rvot aorta so this is anterior mitral valve posterior mitral valve leaflet and this is coronary sinus and left ventricle on this color doppler don't forget probe is up and marker is on the right side of the monitor here blood goes uh, normally goes from atrium to the ventricle so normal mitral valve inflow doppler will be negative shift opposite of the 
transthoracic apical. Uh, so envelope of the mitral valve inflow should be negative and regurgitation that we have here some regu mild regurgitation but based on this image and a little mild aortic regurgitation here the regurgitation goes toward the probe so we will expect to see positive doppler shift based on this very easy you know this is mitral valve inflow negative shift and this is uh, positive that belong to the mr